doesn't everyone do ND filter videos on landscape and waterfall photography? Oh. Well, in that case, let's get a model here. I'm going to summon Jessica. That was fast. Oh, thank you for getting me out here. I don't have to clean anymore. That's nice. Hey, what's up you guys? Nick here from Pink Hat Photography. For those of you who may be familiar with my channel, you'll know the kind of videos that we normally do involve portraiture. And for those of you who haven't seen my channel yet, today we are doing a video for K and F Conceptions. We are doing a video on their variable ND filter. Now this filter right here is 82 millimeter, so it would fit on my biggest lens right here. This is a 10 to 20 millimeter Sigma ultra wide angle lens. Now with this filter right here, we're able to change from three to 11 stops of light coming in the camera. Now with portrait photography outside, most of the time when you hear ND filters, you think landscape and waterfalls, but it can also play a huge role in portrait photography. Now, if any of you have seen my channel or if any of you have ever been out on a portrait shoot outside, you know, you generally want to use a really small f-stop number. 3.5 in the case of this lens, 1.8 with your smaller primes. The problem with that is, with ISO being limited down to 100 ISO, your shutter speed being limited to 1 4,000th of a second, you can't always get the bokeh that you want. So with an ND filter, that allows us to remove light that's coming into the camera. It's much like reducing the ISO of the camera even further. So at 100 ISO, at three stop stop down, this is at about 25 ISO, which means I can open up this aperture, create the wonderful bokeh behind the model Jessica behind me, and we can get some amazing shots. So we're gonna take some shots with this camera real quick. I'm gonna line them up, I'm gonna tell you what settings we're gonna use, and then we're gonna jump onto another lens so I can show you how awesome this filter really is. So I'm taking this shot at 200 ISO, f3.5, 160th of a second. That ND filter is so cool. Now we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of speed shooting. Now what's great about this filter is I'm not gonna have to worry too much about the light interfering. We're gonna not have a whited out sky. Jessica's gonna look fantastic as always, and we're gonna be able to get some great shots. I'm gonna move around. Now I've told Jessica that every time she hears my shutter click, to change her pose. Let's see what kind of sequence of images we can get now that this ND filter allows us to really bokeh at that background outside on a sunny day. Oh, that ND filter makes such a hell of a difference. Those look amazing, Nick. So now that yeah. Jessica got a oogle over them, <laughs> let's run a sequence of those photos. So now, if any of you are familiar with my channel, you know that I prefer using a 50 millimeter prime f1.8, and this is a 58 millimeter filter size. You might be wondering then, Nick, why did you order the 82 millimeter? Now, if you're on a budget, like many photographers often are, I always recommend the buy the largest filter size for your largest lens opening because k &F Concepts also makes step-down rings. Now, these rings right here, I've preset them to fit my 58 millimeter opening and come all the way up to that 82. That way, I can continue to use this filter with this lens, and this lens will actually go to f1.8. It's a two full stops below the 10 to 20 Sigma that we were just using. Now, I get mad shooting on a sunny day like this because I can't shoot with the full potential of my camera's lens at f1.8, but with this ND filter, I'll be able to. So I'm going to show you how to install these really quick. So with the KNF Concepts step down ring, I'm able to use that 182 millimeter ND filter on any of my cameras. So this 58 millimeter opening on this lens, I can easily just screw this on like this. 
Make sure it's snug, not too tight. Boom, there we are. I'm gonna put it on the minimum amount of filtering. That's where I want to start. But now, I can take this camera, I can step it down to f1.8, ISO 100, and I can be shooting on this bright sunny day, one 160th of a second. So let's get another sequence in with Jessica shooting at those settings. All right, to really get this point across though, I'm gonna set Jessica on this bench. Now the bench is in the light, it is a bright sunny day, we don't have any cloud cover, we have smoke, but no cloud cover, and we're gonna see what kind of results we can get at f1.8. And I'm going to put these on the screen for you guys to see real quick. As you can see, we don't have the ND filter, we still have these rings, and our settings are through the roof. We are extremely overexposed. So to try to fix that overexposure, I'm gonna speed up the camera. And we have to shoot at a full one one thousandth of a second, which may not be what you always want. Actually, it's still overexposed there. So let's shoot this at one one sixtieth of a second, just like what we were at. I'm gonna show that photo on the screen really quick. So, 100 ISO, f1.8, 1 4,000th of a second is what I'm gonna take this photo at. And you're gonna see it's going to be very overexposed. And I will throw that up on the screen for you all to see. Now, as you're probably noticing, there are some great benefits for using an ND filter for portrait photography. I know most people, when they think ND, they think landscape and waterfall. But this filter here makes a really big difference in portrait photography as well. We're going to set that again at the minimum amount of filtration. We're going to drop our speed back down to 1 600th of a second, and we're going to do a full shoot with Jessica really quick. It really softens that light. It does. It doesn't look so harsh on my white skin. So, we've been playing with an icon this entire time, but the great thing about these threads is they are universal. In my hand right now, I have an EOS Rebel T3 Canon with a Yongno 50 millimeter f1.8. Now this is a 52 millimeter opening. So again, we're gonna use those step down rings. We stepped it down from 58 to 52. We're gonna slide that guy on there. And we're gonna do some work with this Canon really quick. So again, the exact same settings. One, one, one sixtieth of a second, 100 ISO, F 1.8. And we're gonna see what the Canon can do with this filter. Again, universal threads. Look at this big chonky boy. It's an 85 F 1.4 on my tiny little A6100 Sony mirrorless. And again, this guy slides right on, screws right in, and we're ready to shoot in broad daylight at F 1.4. We're gonna set that. Again, minimum ND filter settings. We're gonna bring it up. One one hundredth of a second. So we're not gonna have to worry about too much instability. Run the sequence.
those ones might have been shaky because I forgot this is a crop sensor camera, so we're gonna shoot it at a higher shutter speed, which we can achieve because this is adjustable for the filtration. So I can turn it down a bit and we can go at a faster shutter speed. Are you ready, Jessica? Yep. Now I do need to finish off this video by explaining that an ND filter is not the end all be all. The ND filter or the neutral density filter provided by KNF Concepts is very specific use, especially in portraiture. If you are dealing with a low light condition, if you're taking photographs inside, you have a cloudy day, you're working in golden light, whether that's sunrise, sunset, or in the blue hour, it is not going to work as you want it to the ND filter actually removes light. So if you're shooting in those low light conditions, you don't have a tripod, you're going to have issues, especially if there's movement in your subject. But on a bright sunny day, when you have your shutter speed maxed up as fast as it'll go, your ISO as low as it'll go, in order to shoot wide open f-stop, to get that wonderful bokeh effect in the background, you're going to need an ND filter. And the KNF Concepts ND filter, especially the variable one that we were using today, is absolutely perfect for that job. So I want to thank you all for checking out this video. This is Nick with Pink Hat Photography, signing off. You guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.